four of our summer music course. We're going to learn half notes and whole notes today, as well as uh, learn how to play a violin duet of a familiar tune called Odd Lane Sign. For our bow hold, we've been working on Rocket Ship and um, Pet the Kitty. And now today I'm going to teach you a new bow game called, I call it the ring game. So um, I do a lot of canning in my house, so I have these canning jar rings everywhere. So grab something, it doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's a circle. And what I want you to do is make a good bow shape with your bow hand and then go ahead and it's best if you can do this with a friend. Um, have your Go ahead and close your eyes and your friend will take this ring and move it around and your job is to go ahead and put the bow through the ring which forces you, because you've got to go all the way through, it forces you to let go of your bow hold and reset. We also worked last week on dividing the bow into half and also into quarters stopping in the middle and seeing if we can do a baby wave or we could think about it as a bunny hopping. A question you might have is how do you stop the bow? What makes it stop? Are you just stopping direction or are you putting some pressure on it? It is better if you can go ahead and put a little bit of pressure and you do that with your index finger. You just kind of push it forward or down. You can see my finger rolls just a little bit. Let's see about quarter bows. So hopefully you've been practicing those all week and getting pretty comfortable with them and now you are able to do your bunny hop hop or uh, you could think of it as a baby wave, whichever you prefer. It's just however you like to think about that. So let's try a continuous bow stroke with the baby wave. You notice that I'm not worried about getting my fingers all the way straight back. That takes too much work. I'm just kind of loosely letting it come up and down. So go ahead and tell me in the comments what a quarter note is from our lesson last week. And today we're going to learn half notes and whole notes. So a half note actually looks just like a quarter note, uh, except that it's not a black dot, it's a hollow dot. It's a white note. Um, it's just the circle with the stem. The whole note does not have a stem. It's just a, a little bit bigger circle. And the whole note lasts for an entire measure. And for now, our measures have four counts in each measure. So a whole note lasts for four counts, which means that four quarter notes fit inside of a whole note, just as four quarters fit inside of a dollar. Um, the half note is just what it sounds like, half of the whole note. Also twice as long as the quarter note, just like in math. So the half note can fit two quarter notes inside of it. Two half notes fit inside of the whole note. So part of the reason that I had you dividing your bow in half and in four is so that you can know how to distribute your bow evenly for these different types of notes. So quarter notes can go ahead and be generous bows, back and forth. A half note, if you're going to play a full bow on a half note, you need to be able to go one, two, one, two. So I'll go ahead and play and show you what that sounds like too. there's no stop so a half note truly is one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. and then the whole note is four counts so quarter bows
just like so. Those take a little bit of practice to get used to, to get comfortable with having a continuous bow while you're counting different notes. You want to put a different bow with each number, but that's not how this works. So we're working quite a lot on bow hold with our bow games, uh, Pet the Kitty and, and the Ring Game and the Rocket Ship Game. Let's talk a little bit more about our violin posture. So going ahead and coming up to position, let's work on the next step of our bunny hop or baby wave. So it's going to be kind of hard for you to see. I'm going to try to back up a little bit. And I want you to go ahead and drop your hand at your side. Notice I'm holding my violin with no hands and I'm standing fairly normal, just as I normally would, but with a turn of my chin to hold the violin. Completely relaxed. Now we're focusing on your left hand and what I want you to do is go ahead and do a baby wave at your side. Now very carefully, I want you to bring that baby wave out in front of you without changing the way your hand looks or the way your wrist looks. Okay? And slowly and carefully, really concentrating to keep those muscles soft, go ahead and bring that all the way up. Now you notice that my thumb is kind of out of this picture. I'm not pulling it in. I'm not poking it out, it's just relaxed. You might need to go like this and this to keep that soft. Okay, once you get to about here, I want you to carefully, now you're waving at somebody over there. Now I want you to start turning. And this is difficult to keep your wrist soft and relaxed while you do this. Keep moving gently and slowly, not fast. This cannot be hurried. <laughs> this exercise takes a lot of patience and concentration. Okay, so as we turn, we're keeping everything soft. If anything goes tense, I want you to go straight back down to the bottom and start over. That's That way we don't practice any bad habits. And this is also essential that you practice this in the mirror. It does no good if you can't see what you're doing. Okay. Turning around, now you should be waving at yourself as you slowly move your hand out towards the fingerboard. And that right there is as far as I want you to take this exercise this week. Because it is so important that you get that soft, relaxed shape. Take your time with this exercise. I would say spend at least five minutes a day just focusing on this this week. We're trying to get your hand prepared to have a relaxed hand frame while you play on the strings in a couple more weeks. We're going to go ahead and start to move our hand away from the shoulder of the violin. Part of that, of course, is with our hand frame exercise of coming out here carefully. But I want you to go ahead and have your hand, slip your hand under the neck. And all I want you to do while you're here is to create somewhat of a tunnel with your fingers around the um, fingerboard. Okay? Now you notice that this tunnel I'm making is not necessarily it's not like this by any means. It's soft and actually it is a reverse image of your bow hold. Okay? If you can see that. Both hands look very much the same. Okay. So you're going to put your fingers out here and all I want you to do is to make sure that this knuckle right here is what's touching your violin. Be careful 
that you don't let the violin go down here and cradle it or squeeze it in between your thumb and your hand. Just have that knuckle right there with your fingers relaxed and soft and your wrist as well. <laughs> so much to think about when we're starting to add more and more. This is, this is where it gets fun and hopefully some of these things starting to get comfortable and automatic for you. So with your hand out here and your knuckle attached there, your fingers are soft, your wrist is relaxed. I just want you to do an exercise that I'm going to call swinging your elbow. I want you to see if you can get that relaxed. This is to encourage your thumb not to grip. If your thumb grips, you can't really turn. So keep that thumb relaxed and loose and just practice rotating your elbow. And this movement is coming from the shoulder. I've put together a song for you to play today called Odd Lane Sign. And you can check that out. And I've, I've given you slow recordings, faster recordings, uh, recordings with just the violin or just the piano. So. Uh, have fun with that. Practice it. Use the video. Do it over and over. Um, practice makes progress. <laughs> and we're going to have rhythm flashcards for you with the quarter notes, the half notes, and the whole notes. Enjoy the song, being able to play a little bit of music, and I look forward to our lesson next week. Please just click like and share this video with your friends if you know anybody that might be interested.